thought we'd take a little bit of time this morning just to look at some of the other characteristics this protocol can deliver over the WAN. So hopefully you can see my demo up on screen here, but um, what I've got here, everyone, is a pretty simple demo. I've just got my notebook sitting here. Um, what I'm actually doing is connecting. I've got the view, the software view client with PC over IP installed on my notebook, and I'm connecting back down to our demo lab that's sitting downstairs over the LAN. So I'll just start off a simple little ping here. And we can see it's under one millisecond, so over the LAN. Now what I've actually set up here is two view desktops, and the first view desktop I'm going to show you is actually using RDP. So we're connecting back via RDP over the LAN, what I'm going to show you is the experience that we were delivering with um, prior protocols. And first off, this is a pretty well-known little icon here. I'll just rotate this around. This program is actually Google SketchUp. Um, it's a 3D um, package you can download for free. And you can see that it's quite good. It's very responsive. There's a little bit of tear in there, but it's, you know, it's functioning quite well. Now, I'll just repeat that again, this time with PC over IP over the LAN. And what you'll see is a very similar experience. If you're careful, you might actually see some of the progressive build technology we have inside here. But you can see there's no tearing and it rotates quite well. But, you know, over the land, Steve, is, is not a big deal. Um, as you're probably aware after the flight down here, Australia is a long way from anywhere. And um, that's a big challenge for us. And typically what we have to deal with is uh, latency. And that, that's probably one of the number one problems we have here. So what I'm going to do now is introduce some latency into this environment. So I'll just kick this in. I actually picked um, 180 milliseconds, which is exactly what I get from my home lab going back over to Palo Alto um, when I check this out. So we can see here we've got some latency. And we'll just jump back in and have a look at that um, environment again. So first off, we'll just start to rotate um, this drawing. Wait a little bit. There we go. We'll come back around here. So you can see there's two things straight away about this. The first thing is that we start to see this sort of draw from one side to the other. But the second thing, most importantly, is the mouse is very unresponsive. While the actual screen redraw is taking place, the mouse puts a cube behind that redraw. I'll actually demonstrate this in a little bit more of an extreme manner. In this case, I'll actually pick up um, Google Maps, so a pretty common application. I'm actually going to zoom in here a little bit for you, so I'll zoom in. There we go. We actually should see the screen redraw quite clearly across up top there. I'll actually now bring down and uh, go to Street View. Hopefully I can find where we're, uh, where we're standing here today. Here we go. I'll just pick a location. Okay, let's bring down to Street View. What you'll see here is that the actual screen will draw from one side to the other, and there's quite a bit of data that has to come down here. Traditionally, we'd use WAN optimization products to do this, and that's still probably the best way to deal with it inside the corporate network. But when you get outside of the network at home, that becomes a real challenge. You can see here that we're struggling now to actually redraw this screen with any intensity, but eventually we get there. So we'll just repeat that again now with uh, PC over IP. One of the really interesting things about this is the way that it basically deals with this kind of latency. So we can see here first off, this is rotating the 3D model. It's still very, very smooth. It's the same latency of 180 milliseconds. Um, we can see a little bit of progressive draw as it deals with the latency that's coming into it. Most importantly now, I'll start to deal with this something that's got a lot of, um, a lot of change on the screen at one time. So once again, here's our Google Maps. You probably saw it actually quickly refresh there. I'll come down to Street View. There we go. You'll see the screen move very, very quickly now as it picks up the fidelity. I'll actually start to pan around a little bit here, as you can see. You can see it's very, very smooth, very, very progressive. Now, I'm using this over 180 milliseconds, but we've been on the road demonstrating this and things like 3G cards around New Zealand, over 300 milliseconds latency. And really, I mean, I've been doing this for quite some time now, and this is one of the most phenomenal changes in technology I've seen for a long time. It really feels like my own desktop, even with significant latency over the land. <coughs> 